Hi there. Hey we, everyone. We're uh, just getting ready to pack things up and head home for some time of self-isolation. Yeah, it's going to be social distancing and and remaining in our homes so we can, you know, help to flatten that curve. Um, and so it's going to be challenging, I think, for lots of us that aren't used to um, just sort of not being in control of our day to day and and sort of creating that new that new sense of normal, which um, is what we hope to help you with um, as we move forward together as a as a community um, to just sort of figure out what 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 is next. I was sitting last home last night thinking, okay, so I can paint my bathroom. Maybe I can clean out my office so I can find things. And I'm making a list of all the stuff that I can do to keep myself busy or thinking about, well, I can go for lunch with this person and that person. And I had to stop and say, you know what? That's maybe not what I should be doing. But Marnie found a great quote that um, she read that I think kind of sums up um, for me something that uh, I need to think about as I go through for the next week or so. And one of, one of my dear friends sent me this message yesterday and it kind of resonated with me just in the sense of that we're always um, moving, we're always um, engaging in a multitude of things. And so this, this time that we have in front of us to sort of do that social distancing, do that um, you know family isolation at home, kind of, as Jason says, it's sort of, stressed me out a little bit and then my friend sent me and it's the part of the message that I really kind of resonated with me was it says you know maybe during this time of pause you know we can become curious um, with with sort of ourselves and our lives and have no agenda other than just experiencing being being um, with our families at home just being in our own skin um, and what if during this time we just created art for the sake of creating or we just allowed ourselves to rest and cry and laugh and play and, and get curious about whatever arises within us in this time of pause. And what if our true purpose in all of this is just sort of being within this space, within ourselves, with our family. And it said, it's as if Mother Earth is saying, we can no longer carry on this way and the time is now. And, and it's time for us to just remember who we are and what's really important and, and to remember that, and to remember that as part of our self-care moving forward, self-care of our family, of our community, of our world, um, just to sort of maybe take some time to really pause and not panic, but just to really um, take that time for reflection. So um, we want you all to take care of yourselves and to make sure that you're connecting with the people you need to connect with and that you're doing the things you need to do. So yeah, you can take that breath and uh, come back to doing the things you need to do when the time is right, so. And I think for Jason and I, um, as this is kind of organically uh, um, being created, this, this way of communicating in the next uh, week or so for sure, we will be social distancing. So we're gonna figure out how are we going to create some um, content for our site, you know, whether we're going to talk about self-care or coping or, um, or stress, um, stress, how we, how we manage stress, how we connect as human beings. Um, we're going to be creative and have some laughs and we want to be able to support our families and our students and our teachers and all of us so that we can figure out a way to kind of come through this together and we will come through it together and, and we just need to believe in that. But before we do that, we're going to go home and take a breath ourselves. Mm -hmm. And um, coming back, yeah, coming back with some new energy and hopefully some new ideas. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.